What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can avoid ATM fees. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, you know the deal. Let's go. Woo. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to tell you guys that we all hate those ATM fees that come with using a different ATM other than your bank's ATM. And most of the time it's when you actually need cash and you know, they don't accept debit, they don't accept credit, anything like that. Um, it's just for instances where you absolutely need cash on you. And you know, the easiest access to cash is to go to the nearest ATM. Now for one, you're going to get charged an ATM fee for that specific ATM, just to use that ATM. Doesn't matter which one it is. Then on top of that, you're going to get hit with another fee from your bank to use that other ATM for them having to, you know, allow that transaction to go through. Now, yeah, you're thinking, what is that? $8, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. $8 is nothing. But if you do it enough times, you know, you might be out a hundred bucks. Now I'm going to tell you how you guys can avoid that. And it's really simple. And this actually came in handy whenever I was on my trip to Mexico and I will play some clips somewhere around here, my trip to Mexico. Anyways, um, I have videos coming out on that as well. So just make sure you guys are up for that. Um, anyways, so what you guys can do is you guys can go to Charles Schwab's website and you guys can actually sign up for a Schwab one brokerage account. So that way you can link the Charles Schwab high yield investor checking account. And why do you want to have both of these? Well, it is a requirement in order to get the checking account with Charles Schwab, you must have a brokerage account, but you get one of these little bad boys here. And this has ATM fees waived worldwide. Now, the reason why this came in handy whenever I was in Mexico was because I came across an instance where I wanted to tip, you know, some of the people that we were going on these excursions with and they were our drivers and whatnot. And I also wanted to purchase uh, some stuff off the side of the streets on, on Fifth Avenue when I was in Playa. So what did I do? Some of them did accept credit card, but some of them didn't so i needed cash so i had to take this little thing on over to an atm and i had to pull cash out of that account now a lot of people don't know how to get actual money into the checking account what you do is you have to deposit money to the brokerage account first and then transfer those funds from the brokerage account to the checking account and i know it might seem like a lot just to get uh, atm fee waived but if you're out of the country and you know obviously you're gonna have to use for the most part a different atm and you know either way it doesn't matter you're still going to be out some money if you have to use a different atm other than your banks so that's why i always recommend this signing up for one of these accounts with Charles Schwab in order to get those ATM fees waived. And that's even in the US, you can get every single ATM fee waived, no matter what, doesn't matter where you are, it's worldwide, it's in the US, it's everywhere, it doesn't matter. You are always going to get those ATM fees waived and it is an unlimited amount. Now you're also probably thinking that you, there has to be a minimum balance that you have to have in this account before they start charging you some kind of fee well the good thing is is that there is no minimum fee required you can literally have zero money in this account until you're ready to actually deposit the money and use it for whenever you need to i think this is another tactic by charles swab in order for you to have the brokerage uh in order for you to have the checking account you must have the brokerage account but my thought process behind them actually wanting you to have the brokerage account first is because they want to entice you to start investing with them or looking at you know index funds looking at mutual funds anything like that that are going to try to you know work on your retirement and ira anything that's going to you know help you build long-term wealth or even help you towards retirement schwab is a pretty credible 
uh, institution in my opinion. Now one thing about signing up for this account is that they will do a hard pull and by that I mean they will pull your credit. You are going to have to set up your account online and you know their customer service is real helpful. Uh, I had a couple of issues uh, and they were quick fixes so uh, yeah. When they pulled my credit I think it was about two points uh, and I'm not really hurting from two points, so it's okay. Yeah, so it was completely worth it to, to get it. And of course, as you guys know, this Charles Schwab is a bank. So all of your money up to $250,000 is FDIC insured. So, so that way you guys can feel comfortable with putting your money into this bank uh, that it is going to be insured up to $250,000. Now there is a way that you can get a free $100 uh, immediately for just signing up for this account. And you can look it up online. You can just look up uh, Schwab and high yield investor checking account uh, referral link and basically you just refer yourself using that link and you sign up for the account well they're gonna deposit $100 into that account so you're automatically gonna start off on top with $100 now the other cool thing here about this is now if you're into credit cards points and miles and everything like that the only way to get this card is by actually having a relationship with Charles Schwab and you can actually transfer the sign up bonus into you know you can actually transfer the sign up bonus into actual cash back and use it towards investing so uh, this is probably one thing that I might consider doing and um, I haven't decided yet because I may still get the vanilla card um, and by vanilla I just mean the plain plain card and most people know this and in case you don't but that is the Charles Schwab American Express Platinum card now if you sign up for this card and you get approved through Charles Schwab's website you can actually transfer that sign up bonus once you get it and you can transfer it to your Charles Schwab account and you can use that to get into investing and I think that's pretty valuable uh, I would trade that in a heartbeat I mean think about it that's not even your own money you spent your own money to get that sign up bonus but I mean I think that's a good way to start off if you don't know how to get into invest or you're just not willing to give up towards investing then I think this is a great way to get into it so again guys this is what the card looks like as you guys can see it, Charles Schwab, you know, own your tomorrow, which is pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's just a normal debit card, but you know, again, it comes in handy when you're traveling abroad and even when you're traveling and you have no clue where one of your banking uh, ATMs are. I think that's always a little perk to have in your wallet no matter what, and I always carry it just in case I do need to carry some cash um, just so that way I can get my you know get my cash without any ATM fees and it's also a hassle to have to look for your bank and if there's a bank you know 10 minutes down the road but there's an ATM right here I'm all about convenience and this provides the most convenience for me so I'm not gonna go look for a Wells Fargo a city or go look for a Chase Bank you know if there's an ATM right there and I have my Schwab card then I'm going to use my Schwab card all day so that's what I would recommend, guys. And that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know what you think about this Charles Schwab card, debit card. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notifications down the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date from whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.